All right, today I'm going to show you how I um, find out if an inverter is a pure sine wave or modified sine wave. And if it's a pure sine wave, how pure it is. Uh, I have a couple of inverters and I want to know, you know whether it's a pure sine wave or it's a modified sine wave. And uh, that's important to me because I have um, uh, electronic equipment that, uh, you know, uh, it's not going to run on a modified sine wave inverter like this one. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you how I I test it. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to show you how to do it because what I'm going to do is extremely dangerous. I'm going to use a suicide cord. It's one side is a clock regular wall plug and the other side is exposed wire so it's extremely dangerous so I should have used a uh, isolated transformer to plug in here first and bring the voltage down from 120 volt to uh, you know about 20 30 volts but I don't have that so I'm just gonna use this Also, in a regular outlet, there are three prong uh, ground, the, the big prong is the neutral, and the smaller prong is the hot or line. So, this is ground, neutral, and hot. So the way I found out uh, which prong, which prong is this one or this one belong to this one or that one is to use uh, just use some resistor test. So uh, on my meter, I put it to 200 ohm. Okay, 200 ohm, right here. and um, just gonna measure it. So put this one here, this one right here, and measure it. Okay. So this one has some resistance. So that means, uh, you know, this belongs to that, and that's the neutral. I know it. I know it's neutral because I, when it, it lines up here and it lines up right here. So that is neutral. So this is neutral. I already marked it neutral. And you now there's nothing here. And there's something here. So I know it's neutral. And the other side. Other side. And the other side. Is, let's see. See, there's some resistance, so, so that is hot, so I marked it black, so hot, neutral. Now I'm going to test it. So I have the setup ready, I uh, plug in the inverter to my battery, which is 12 volt inverter. And this suicide cable, go here, I'm going to plug it to my oscilloscope to see uh, whether it's a modified sine wave, or a pure sine wave inverter. So I have a 50 x um, probe here, and I'm gonna plug in the ground ground cable from the oscilloscope to neutral. Okay, and the other end. Um, the other end is going to go to hot. Okay, this is hot. So I'm going to turn on the inverter first. All right, there you go. On. So this wire is right now is hot. So if I touch it, I'm going to die. Um, so I'm going to be careful not to touch it. 
So right now my oscilloscope so show nothing. I already connected to ground. Now I'm gonna connect it to hot. Alright. Alright, it's connected. All hot. So as you can see here, this inverter is very square. You see the square? Very square, so it's a very square wave inverter. Square sine wave, not a or a modified sine wave inverter. So this is very dirty electricity, which I do not want. I want a pure sine wave inverter. So uh, I'm gonna try another inverter, see what happens. All right, so I plug in another inverter. Uh, this one is a, a sine pure sine wave inverter using a suicide cord again. So neutral, neutral to ground to our, our, the oscilloscope. Hot to that hot uh, clip from the oscilloscope, and I have a 10x probe. So this is a 10x probe. So my scope is 5 volt per division right here 5 volt per division and it's a 10x probe this one is 10x probe so it's going to be 50 volts per division so let's see what I got so as you can see here this is very pure not very pure but it's, it's a, you know it's a lot better than the the other inverter but still not very pure inverter as you can see there, there are step step wave you know uh, let me see if I can adjust it uh, you can see it better there you go so this inverter is claimed as a pure sine wave but uh, you can see it's not very here um, the wave is like a, a stepping wave right. zigzag up and down but it still produces a sine wave um, so it's, it's a lot better than the previous one um, definitely better All right and um, you know, that's how I test my inverters to see if it's pure sine wave or modified sine wave. Um, I searched online and then literally no information on how to do it because uh, I guess yeah, you either have to have a, a step down transformer or isolation transformer or you have to do it this way, suicide cord, which is extremely dangerous. And um, I use this because I have no other choices. I want to test it. I want to test it right now. Um, so I can test the inverter because my all my inverters have uh, ground isolated ground, so it's not connected to earth ground. But if if uh, you have a if you want to test the AC outlet from your house, it's connected to earth ground. Uh, that's very dangerous and uh, it's going to short out your oscilloscope, it's going to damage your equipment. Either damage your inverter or, or oscilloscope. So I would not recommend, uh, you know, uh, plug this, test this on a home outlet with a ground uh, connected to earth ground because the oscilloscope ground, this outside ring here, which is the little clip connected to the little clip right here that is the earth ground that connected directly to the back of the uh, oscilloscope the back power outlet and that goes straight to the outlet to the earth ground so if you have a home outlet which is obviously they are connected to earth ground you're gonna short out your oscilloscope and your inverter and you're going to produce fire and damage everything in the process. So, uh, 
only use a test if it's an isolated, meaning it's not connected to earth ground. Alright, that's all I have. Any question? Uh, just uh, fill in a comment below and try to answer as best as I can. Alright, thanks for watching.